Good morning, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. So, um, the last 24 hours, many, many things have been revealed in my spirit and confirmed by other brothers, brothers and sisters in Christ that are um, gifted in the prophetic realm with um, visions, with dreams, and um, seers in the spirit. I know it sounds spooky, but um, it is uh, biblical and it's all in the word of God. And um, so anyways, I had a disturbing dream and it was about uh, someone very close to me um, that was ordered to kill me. And um, he has love for me, so he could not carry out that command. Um, so he allowed me to slip through um, the glass windows and allowed me to um, run off. He couldn't capture me. He couldn't kill me. He was commanded to by the authorities, military authorities. And um, he wasn't able to do that because he had love in his heart for me. Um, compassion. He couldn't carry out the order. And that's the second time I've had this dream about this person in two years. And um, so I didn't think anything of it. It's disturbing, but it's like ah, another disturbing dreams of the authorities um, after me. You know, what's new? And you know, I know I have a lot of enemies <laughs> just because of who I am um, as a child of God and um, called to be um, a prophetic um, voice in this hour revealing secrets and mysteries not just of the kingdom of God but also the kingdom of darkness their plots and plans their evil agendas etc and they're not happy with me and they want to do away with every um, prophetic voice um, of God in this hour so anyways um, yes so out of nowhere as I was working yesterday a brother in the Lord um, wrote and said that I just had a vision. Um, he said, the Lord is very pleased with you, with your prophesying. He's very pleased with you. He said, I saw a vision of someone lifting up a knife in the air and was trying to stab you in the back. But the Lord made his um, arms weak. And he put the knife down and he couldn't stab you in the back. And the word is that the Lord has your back. The Lord is protecting you. And um, I know that this man is anointed of God. He's a son of God, born of the spirit of God, not the son of God as in Jesus Christ, which you guys know that. I just have to clarify because it's always somebody out there, you know, trying to start something and they'll point out anything at all to um, uh, start an argument which I'm not interested in but um, so anyways um, that got me thinking I'm like oh wow that confirmed you know with a dream I had that morning yesterday morning which I just shared with you guys and then um, I shared it with about four very mature seers prophetic friends that I trust with my life, uh, very mature seasoned prophetic sisters and um, and a couple, a, a husband and a wife that is a unified and Holy Spirit baptized, filled with the wisdom of God. And I trust these folks, these brethren in the Lord. So they were speaking lots of various um, wisdom and insight um, with me on it and then this morning I mean I've received so many uh, confirmation on this because for the last couple of months I've been praying seeking the Lord seemingly all year if not the last few years but so much so in the last few months, I'm like asking the Lord, please, you know, 
opened up my spiritual eyes, let me see things as they really are. Um, always praying in the Spirit so that He, the Holy Spirit, could have His free reign in just leading and guiding and showing um, spiritual matters that concerns my life. And the Word of God tells us to pray unceasingly and pray in the Spirit. So I try to do that every day because the Holy Spirit is our lifeline. Amen. He is our teacher, the one who lead us and guide us into all truth. He is the Spirit of truth from our Father and our Savior. So this morning, after going through all that, um, I read this word that is so confirming to where I've been, where I am, the dreams, the visions. So I'm going to bring it to you guys because I'm not the only one that's going through this. Um, if you are serving the Lord in any capacity and you're set your heart to live for Christ, you're going to have a lot of enemies, enemies out there <laughs> in the world, in the church, in your home, in your family enemies everywhere and um, I know that the world thinks we're crazy but um, that's all right <laughs> uh, because the word of God tells us so amen we're in a war a uh, spiritual warfare every day and there's nothing that Satan would love to do more than to see us kill seal and destroyed and for us to shut up um, with uttering you know, the testimonies of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and revealing the things of the kingdom and revealing the things of darkness. He hates the prophets and prophetess, um, the mouthpiece of God. He hates them. So he's going to always send um, his people, his um, instruments of um, darkness, instruments of evil and wickedness to slither in, to our lives some way shape or form um, to hinder the plans of the Lord in our lives for us so let me share the word and I pray that it will in encourage you as it did me um, for us to continue to walk in the light and bring dark things into the light of Christ into the light of the Word of God the truth um, into righteousness um, because the kingdom of God is uh, peace, joy, truth, righteousness in the Holy Ghost. Amen. There's no crookedness. There's no, um, you know, darkness um, and evil, double mindedness, um, deception, deceit, lies um, in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of God, uh, deceptions, lies. All of those things are of the devil from the kingdom of darkness, the father of lies, Satan. So uh, God has not called us to um, uh, live in darkness and allow his children whom he's redeemed with his own blood to continue taking in the lies and dwelling um, in darkness and deceptions, confusion, doubt, um, and any type of abuses um, in our lives, whether it's emotional abuse or psychological mind games, whatever they are, um, it must be made crook, it must, the crooked path must be made straight, amen? Um, because we're the children of light and our father is light and we are his sons and daughters and we must dwell in the light and come out of any areas of darkness that we have walked into and others have tried or is trying to keep us um, bound to. So for whom the Son has set free is free indeed and we cannot let anything and anyone keep us in bondage to their power of deception, lies and darkness in any areas. As I was meditating upon the Lord, he began to show me a picture of a spider. And I thought about how the spider is one of the most clever creatures ever, who weaves a trap for its prey without so much as entrapping themselves in order to entangle their enemy. Now, this was this is so powerful because yesterday I was out there in my front porch and um 
This model home was clean the day before, spick and span, clean by professional cleaners, and it smelled heavenly, and it still does. And so there were no spider webs out there, no cobwebs, nothing. But it seems like within 24 hours, the same day, same morning, uh, same hours as I was going through all of this, the dream, um, the vision, um, and endless of confirmation. All of a sudden, you know, I go for a 15 minute um, walk down the street to get some fresh air. And um, as I was coming back up on the stairs, I saw a ton of spider webs. And I see, you know, these little spiders just working intently, weaving their webs, um, laying traps for its um, prey. Um, and so I'm like, what in the world? This home was just clean yesterday. How is it possible to have so many different uh, sizes of spider webs, cobwebs, all of a sudden popping out, popping up within a day? So I went to my um, pantry and I grabbed my broom. And so I began to tear down all of the spider webs while the spiders were being were busy trying to weave the webs um, together to entrap um, you know, it's, um, it's enemies, it's prey. So I thought that was super prophetic that it happened yesterday. And, and I was like, oh no, not on my watch. You are not, you know, weaving your web of, um, you know, death and deception on my porch. So I tore it down with my broom and then lo and behold, I come uh, and this morning I pull this up. I was like, oh my goodness, it's so prophetic. So let's continue on. But what is it when we ourselves have become a spider in the flesh without the wisdom of the spider entrapping our own selves in our own web of deception and manipulation? This is where I feel I have been living in. As I ponder upon this, I said to myself, Lord, is that at all possible since the spider is the one who builds the web for its own prey and so I did some research popular science popsci.com and sure enough the Holy Spirit was leading me into this newfound revelation that the spider is one who is unlike any other unsuspecting prey spiders don't come into contact with their webs all at once Instead, they move nimbly, quick with light movements along the strands of their silk webs with only the hairs on the tips of their legs making contact with the sticky threads. As a result, this minimizes the chances that they'll get caught in their own trap. For blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempted he any man, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. James 1, 12 through 15. For I heard the Lord saying, Who is a wise, clever, intelligent man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom like the spider. But if you have bitter, envying, and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. For this wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly, sensual, and devilish. So if any of us, whether it's you or I, non-believers, whoever, whoever has bitter, envying, and strife in your heart, glory not, and lie not against the truth, for that is from earthly, sensual, and it's devilish, it's from the devil. And um, so we've got to guard our hearts against bitterness, envying, and strife. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion 
and every evil work, like unto the spider who ensnares his prey and is known to go in for the kill. I thought this verse is so perfectly timely and prophetically、uh, for me, because there is envying, there's strife, and there's confusion, and there's、um, lack of truth, lack of transparency. And because there is envying and strife and confusion, deception, there's、e、every evil work, like unto the spider who ensnares his prey, and is known to go in for the kill. And the going in for the kill、um, confirms my dreams that I had.、Um, like I said, I've had many of these types of dreams over the last couple years, but one yesterday morning, and、um, the vision that that brother. Um, had about someone trying to stab me in the back, but God has my back. But the wisdom that is from above is pure, first pure, no traps, invisible motives, agendas, tricks, or schemes. Transparent and truth. Then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality. And without hypocrisy, you cannot expect to be trusted, respected, utterly and absolutely, while you are being deceptive and deceitful and lying. You just cannot. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. In this season, I believe that the Lord is saying to watch out for the spider spirit. This is the crux of my message right here. It's for me. It's for you. It's for all of us. Watch out for the spider spirit. Those close to you coming to entrap you in bondage. People close to you, family, friends, people on your job, community, and or government. Pretty much all of that has to do with my life right there. Who comes to bring strongholds to entangle you in the flesh and not in the spirit? Now. If you've been watching my videos and following me in the last few weeks, in the last couple months, I've been crying out, "I do not feel free." I know for whom the Son has set free is free indeed, but I do not feel free. I feel like I'm in bondage, like I'm entangled, I'm trapped. So, what I just read to you, this right here is what I have been going through, and I believe the Lord is calling me, calling all of His children to come out of bondage. Amen. To come out from the traps that has been laid for us, in whatever avenue that the enemy of our soul has used against us, whether it's、um, from our job, from our family closest to us, our spouse, our government, our community, our church, whatever it is, relatives, like the spider, these strongholds are invisible webs, seducing spirits who patiently wait on your demise and lack of discernment. In good judgment, that if you are not discerning, can cause you to become entangled by the traps of the enemy as his prey. I have been praying for the last couple months, Father, please set me free from every traps and snares of the devil, because I can feel that I'm being entrapped、um, by the snares of my enemy. But it's so hard when you're so close to it and you're already in it to see it clearly. So I've been praying this. Father, please set me free, and I believe that He is because He's revealing me, revealing so many hidden things that the natural mind, the natural eyes, would not be able to see except through the Spirit of God. Amen. The webs of the enemy come to raise panic, fear, threats, intimidation, and will even play on your own emotions to entangle you with the desires of this world. That has happened already. The spider comes not only to bring fear and deception, but he plays for keeps at any given moment. When he sees you in his proximity, his legs move with a vengeance to go in for the kill, injecting you with their deadly venom. Of its prey, caught in his web of lies and deceit. Glory to God! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for exposing lies and deception. We don't realize how very dangerous lies and deception 
truly is. But it's nothing to play with. It is um, treading on the territory of Satan, the father of lies and deception. It's like opening the door wide and inviting Satan himself and his demons to come to kill and steal and destroy from our lives, our family, our marriage, our relationship, our health, our finances, whatever it is, um, to rob us of the abundant life of joy, peace, truth, uh, righteousness, health, um, intimacy with each other and with God, with the Holy Spirit, is inviting Satan to come on in through our lies and deceptions. Come kill, steal, and rob from my family. And that is not what God has desired and ordained for us to live. Not in lies, not in deceptions, but we are children of light, not children of the night. Amen. And once you are caught in their invisible web of deception, you are entangled with conflict, confusion, chaos, and mess trying to get untangled, which is very difficult unless you are clever like the spider who has an anti-pellet against its own sticky silk web that keeps them from getting detangled in its own web. And this is where I've been right here. The invisible web of deception has entangled me with conflict, confusion, chaos, and mess. And I've been trying to get out. And it's been very difficult. Isn't this just like those Satan sent as tears or weak vessels? in your life to bring about your demise, they seem to always escape the strife, confusion, and the lies that they themselves have spun to cause your destruction. But you who are innocent seem to get deeper and deeper in their mass deception because you fail to be watchful unto prayer of the lies and deception they have spun, causing you to fall into a trap of death laid for your demise. This is a very strong warning, but we, I must take it to heart. And I don't know if you guys are getting anything out of this, but man, this is like such a timely word for me. And I'm confident I'm not the only one. But God wants his people to know that God has also given you an anti-pellet against sin and falling prey to the tactics, the, the wiles of the devil of the spider in this season, which is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I cannot make it in this life without the Holy Spirit. How be it when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself, but who, whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come for he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and shall shew it unto you. John 16, 13 through 14. And I know I'm confident for a fact that it's the Holy Spirit that's revealing things that are plotting, planning against my back and things that are to come. And he's warning me. And I believe he's warning you as well. Some of you that are watching this. I learned a lot about spiders living on a farm as a farmer's daughter. And if, I, if we are ever to beat the enemy at his own game, we are going to have to arm ourselves as the spider does when he is weaving his own web. Notice the spider does not get in a hurry with his web or his prey, but when he is spinning his web, he takes his time and does it slowly and carefully, unlike those who walk into his web. And he only gets in a hurry when he feels a pull on his spider web. And it is then that he goes in for the kill to inject deadly venom of false truths and spell casting to eat that which has become his next meal. It's time to armor up. No more allowing the enemy to trick, trap, and to ensnare you, leaving you wounded, broken, and half near dead because you allowed him to entrap you again. This word is for me. Let me read it again because it might be for you as well. 
It's time to armor up. No more allowing the enemy to trick, trap, and to ensnare you, leaving you wounded, broken, and half near dead because you allowed him to entrap you again. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. We are in evil days, guys, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. You guys remember the dream I shared with you a few weeks ago about 50 fl uh, white arrows being shot towards me at me, but none of them hit me. And then um, like within a week or so after that dream, the Lord gave me a dream of um, uh, the Baphomet, which represents Satan and his worshiper, his people um, uh, coming after me, making a threat at me that they were coming for me to destroy me. But um, they couldn't get a hold of me because God delivered me and they were also threatening my children. That was a dream I just shared a few weeks ago. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. That's Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 18 by Apostle Geraldine Fisher. I just want to say thank you, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Those of you who've been praying for me, lifting me up, um, I cannot thank you enough because in seasons like this, I'm too confused, too weak. Like I don't even want to fight. I'm tired. I'm weary um, because I've been in this wounded state for so long. But you guys are faithful. You guys have been faithful. You lift me up, encourage me, exhort me to keep getting up, to um, run my race, uh, to do the things that God has called me to do. And I really, really, from the depths of my heart, I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you. I bless you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May the spirit of revelation, power, might, counsel, wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and the fear of the Lord continue to be upon you, empower you, immobilize you into the next season, into a greater level of deeper mysteries of the kingdom of God and revealing the kingdom of darkness, amen, exposing his wicked plans, um, all the traps and snares that he lays for the children of God, for us, our brothers and sisters in Christ, amen. God bless you, I love you, and I'll talk to you soon.